Yeah, police are currently dealing with a wave of reports of spikings by injections at nightclubs and parties. There have been reports of it in people's backs, in their arms, thighs, and one was suspected to be in my hand. We take the actions they tell us to prevent getting a drink spike. No one tells you how to protect yourself from an injection. It's just the bruising, it's like a perfect circle inside it's sort of hard as if it's like a scar that should be there and right in the middle the little pinprick. An alarming number of women have reported needle spiking in a worrying epidemic sweeping the UK with a number of alleged incidents internationally. Almost 200 spiking incidents, including those of injection spiking, have been reported to police forces across the UK over the past two months, with many more appearing on social media as women bravely share their stories to warn others. I know at least five girls that have been spiked in the last couple of weeks. My words were sort of slurring a bit when I was talking. Um, my eyes were kind of rolling as well at times, my friend had said. Many of the alleged attacks involve terrifying accounts of women being pricked by a needle while at a bar or nightclub and quickly being left in paralysed states. My friends told me that out of nowhere I stopped being able to talk and then I started really freaking out and then they said I was making absolutely no sense and I suddenly stopped being able to stand up as well. Apparently I was kind of screaming out and going unconscious and so they called the ambulance. I only knew it happened like when I saw the videos of it. She was unable to move. Her boyfriend filmed this footage which she wanted us to broadcast. Go to bed. Despite police taking reports seriously, there have been no arrests or charges laid and fear among women is high. It's like terror because genuinely we don't know what's going to happen to us when we go out. Like it's so indiscriminate. University students across the UK took matters into their own hands, demanding action in a national girls' night in boycott of nightclubs and pubs. The first thing we're hoping to achieve is really to build momentum and show clubs, bars, venues, staff, the police, that we are going to take this seriously. We're going to stand up for this issue. We're not like, going to take spiking as something that just happens, or something you just have to be careful of on a night out anymore. An online petition calling for nightclubs to be required to thoroughly search people on entry has garnered over 170,000 signatures. We can't just give a message to young girls to keep themselves safe. We have to be more vigilant in nightclubs and bars, and we have to address the cultural issues behind this where men are thinking it's okay to either spike a drink or potentially to stab someone with a syringe.